I feel like everything that I prayed for and like even my heart's desires that I didn't even voice to the Lord, I feel like he made happen. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so y'all, let's just get right into the video. This is gonna be the birth story. I vlogged that day, so also in this video, I'll be adding clips of from that day. So yeah, <laughs> you gonna you gonna act? Is you gonna act right? Hmm. Yeah, he's cluster feeding right now, and I feel like I can't get his belly full. <laughs> Wait, okay, so let's just get right into the video. Um, so you guys from the vlog as you will see, so that night before I had got induced, I had got induced on a Thursday, and that Wednesday night I was running like a chicken with a head cut off because <laughs> I didn't prepare beforehand. So the the last night I always do this. I feel like I work better that way anyways, but <laughs> That um, night before I got induced, um, I was like doing my hair that night. I was um, packing my both bags, the uh, my bag and the baby bag. I was I had to drop my kids off that night, y'all. It was just so much, and I feel like that may be a cause of why I cried when I dropped my kids off because I was like overwhelmed. But um, yeah, when I dropped my kids off that night, y'all, I was like just crying because i was like man it's gonna be the last night that they're my only two kids and i bring them back i would have a whole nother baby when they come back home we'll be a whole nother baby at the house so it was just my hormones i was just <laughs> i was just so emotional that day and my husband was just like <laughs> my husband really wouldn't even stop me he was like yeah you you'll be okay <laughs> like you act like they not coming back home i don't know what i was thinking but i was just so sad when i dropped them off but yeah we dropped the kids off we got everything ready that night and the day came the next day um we had to be at the hospital at 11 a.m oh my god today is the day i meet my baby boy oh my goodness i'm fully emotions this morning y'all so hold on, let me put y'all down so I can talk to y'all. Hold on. Okay, so y'all, I dropped the kids off last night, but me and my husband did, and of course I was full of emotions, just thinking that this is the last day that there would be the only two kids, and I was just getting emotional. But this morning, guys, like I woke up this morning and I spent time with the Lord, and I'm just, I'm just in a thankful mood. Just um, if you guys see my vlog, what I was talking about, fear, that fear vlog, just seeing how God has walked us through this season and has kept me emotionally, like kept my mind where, because I just feel like the season we just came out of, like I wasn't supposed to, knowing my past, I wasn't supposed to get through that emotionally. But I was just thanking God because I feel like there was a miracle in itself. Me being pregnant on top of that, like being able to get through that emotionally. And God just keeping me in so much peace and just strengthening my mind. Like, y'all, I'm just so thankful this morning. I'm so happy. Um, Yeah, but I don't want to ramble too much. But, y'all, this is the beginning of my birth vlog. Um, I'm about to go get something to eat right now because my midwives, they keep telling me, make sure you eat before you come. I'm like, girl, look, you ain't got to tell me number one time. <laughs> All my other, um, doctors, the, um, they have told me to not eat anything before you get induced, but these midwives, they keep pushing eat before you come. So I'm like, listen, you ain't got to tell me number once. I'm going to give me some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> before we got in, my midwife now kept telling me. Like, make sure you eat before you come because you're going to be doing all this hard work. And I know, I'm, well, I do understand why some doctors tell you don't eat before you come. But <laughs> when me and labor were like, sometimes over 24 hours, like a lot of times over 24 hours. And 
I feel like they need to eat. Like, just eat ice and popsicles. Like, oh my goodness. But I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so my midwife was telling us to eat before we came. Well, telling me to eat before I came. And um, so that morning, we stopped by Chick-fil-A. And it was fine. <laughs> yeah, we in the car right now. We just left from Chick-fil-A. Got my nuggets and my tater rounds. My husband got a sausage biscuit sandwich and some tater rounds. I'm kind of upset because I wanted a spicy chicken sandwich, but I didn't know that they don't serve that whole menu all day. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, we headed to the hospital right now. And I just called them to confirm my appointment today at 11. They told me to come on in, so I'm excited. <laughs> you excited, babe? It's good. <laughs> As you guys know, well, from my past videos, I don't eat meat, y'all, but I don't eat meat except on special occasions. And I told myself, I'm like, okay, girl, you gotta give birth to a whole baby. I'm eating meat this day. So <laughs> I had some Chick-fil-A that morning, y'all, and it was so good. So we made it to the hospital on time. We made it there like around, when we found the park, y'all, it was like around 1040. And we had to park in a garage because it was downtown, the hospital that I got birth at. And oh my goodness, that walk, <laughs> having like on and off contractions like for the last two months of my pregnancy they would come so random and they actually did hurt but i knew there what they won real um labor contractions because with josiah my second baby i had got the same thing with amari y'all already know i never felt any contractions but with josiah my second boy i knew that the contractions were real so i never paid any mind to my contractions um when they came unless they was coming back to back and which i only had one scare with javari <laughs> i thought i was kind of in labor but i wasn't they went away after i went to sleep that night but anyways so yeah, we made it to the hospital. Um, they had my husband sitting in the lobby and wait on me. As I went to the back, <laughs> basically to um, get checked in and stuff, and then I, they went, they sent me straight to my room that I was delivering, Jamari. So um, we got there. Um, as I got in the room, they had me, you know, put on my little gown or whatever. And um, okay, guys. So I just got back in the room. Y'all see it? Oh my God. My baby gonna be in there. <laughs> they got the seats. I don't think this is the room. Like, you know, you deliver and they put you in another room. So I don't think this is the final room, but this is where I'm having my baby at. <sighs> I'm so calm and relaxed. I'm just thankful for God's peace right now. Cause I'm just so relaxed right now. I'm not freaking out, but I'm just so happy. But let me go ahead, put on my robe. <laughs> my socks and get ready my goodness <laughs> okay guys so they just admitted me i just got checked i'm still at a four it went over all the questions and everything and yeah they about to start my IV. What well, they about to call John back first. Because he's still way in the lobby. And yeah, so they said with the COVID test, they're going to do the test. And if I'm negative, we can take the mask off. So yeah, I'm excited.
Okay, so then the nurses um came back. Um, they came and checked me. You know, they have to ask you like a thousand questions. And my husband still wasn't back because some of the questions they have to ask you, like, are you being abused and stuff like that. I guess they didn't want your partner in there just in case, you know, you was uncomfortable answering, obviously, those questions in front of him. But, yeah, so they asked you all those questions. Then they found out that my husband come back. And um, after that, they got me admitted, and we just waited on them to start my Pitocin. Um, my midwife ended up coming in. She checked me. When she checked me, I was still at, I was at a four, I believe. And we were just waiting. It was a waiting game after that. Started the Pitocin, and of course, they started on a low level. And then they just rise. I think she said she was rising, raising it every 30 minutes or so. I'm not sure, but they started the Pitocin. I, my um, contractions, that was like mild at that point. Um, they ended up asking me that I want an epidural like soon as I got in there. And technically, I was on the fence about getting an epidural. Like, <laughs> after what I went through with my second son, like I should have been like, yes, like bring it down before even the contraction started. But I don't know, like for some reason, I was on the fence again. But I ended up, thank God, I ended up going ahead and getting it. I told them I wanted to wait till you come back to give me advice. Cause she's like, I can get this one right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just needed advice. I know I'm going through one of the things I did with your side, decide whether I want it or not, but I'm finna get it. I need to go to the restroom. Before I get it though. <laughs> no, I need to do number two. <laughs> Why I'm so happy you came you back? Why I'm so happy you back here. He just walked in, y'all. They said um you can leave and go when you want to. Yeah, I'm they they also said when I get my test, I got to do a COVID test. We can get rid of the mask. Oh, you got to do one? Yeah, wow. unfortunately. You got to take one for the team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still right. Okay, guys, so y'all just got my epidural. And it went so smoothly. If you guys watched my last labor delivery vlog, this that was what? I was most scared of because my legs starting to feel numb, but um, I just feel like the guy kind of messed up last time, but this time it is so good. But um, yeah, so got me laying back so the epidural can flow real good. So my husband left to go get something to eat, and we just wait. They, um, we just went on baby boy. They up my Pitocin. So, yeah. Just waiting. I was ready for them to up my Pitocin. So, and give me the epidural first, but up my Pitocin. So, things can start moving pretty fast. So, I can't wait till my water break. They about to give me the catheter. It's called catheter? I don't know. Yeah, the catheter. So, I don't have to get up and go to the restroom. But, yeah. Update for now, y'all. <laughs> uh, when I tell you, the man that came in and did my epidural, I was so, I'm so thankful because <laughs> this, okay, so if you guys seen my first birth story with Javar, with Josiah, my second boy, everything went wrong. But <laughs> with him, y'all, when the man came in to do my epidural, y'all, when I tell you he was on point, he was on point. I was so excited. I, I was excited that he wasn't in training or whatever. Oh my goodness, y'all. I had such a bad experience with um, Josiah getting an epidural that I was like if afraid. And it's crazy because my first time ever in life with my first baby getting an epidural, everything went so smoothly. And the second time with Josiah, when I tell you he messed up so bad, like I, I was like stressing this time i was like man i'm so scared i don't want nobody coming in here talking about they in training <laughs> but i'm so thankful like he came in he asked me all those questions they had my husband <clears throat> they had 
they had my husband step out and then they he set me up he everything went so smoothly it didn't even hurt I, I don't understand why with your side everything hurt it but with this one it didn't even hurt everything just went so, went so smooth i can't i can't say that no it went so smooth <laughs> i was so excited but yeah so he gave my epidural it started kicking in i started stop feeling my contractions and it was so crazy like i could feel them coming I could still feel my body tighten up, but the pain was gone. Like I couldn't feel the pain, which thank God. I don't I don't know what epidural they gave me with Amari, my first baby. I didn't feel nothing. With Josiah, I felt I still feel pain. With this one, I could feel my body, like I said, tighten up, but I couldn't feel the pain. Thank God. <laughs> it was around 3:30 when they gave me my epidural. So it was a weight gain after that. And then around six something, my water pop, my water burst. My water broke. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I think I can take this off from my top on here. <laughs> okay, y'all. So it is, babe, what time is it? 6.51. My water just broke. I felt the pop and then I felt the fluid can't come out. That was so weird. But <laughs> I really wanted to experience it. But um yeah, so my man wife about to come and check me and see how far I am. I had a contraction while I was trying to see that my water actually break. And um the I that contraction was pretty strong. I started to feel it a little bit. So I can I have the bun here. I have a bun on the side of me to press for my epidural if I need any more but I think I'm good for now but they're about to check me and I'll come back and let you guys know um I'll let you guys know how far I am we made any progress um they started everything I think around 1 got here at 11 took a little minute probably around 1 something or 12 40 or yeah I just say 1 they started the Pitocin so it's six about to be seven and my water just broke so hopefully he'll be coming out soon so <laughs> yeah i was just texting everybody letting them know my water broke but yeah <laughs> so my water ended up breaking out around six something and i, I always said this i never got to experience my water breaking on its own even though it really wasn't on its own because i've been induced but no, no one had to come in to break it. Like I felt it. Yeah, I felt the pop. I felt the water come out. Oh my gosh! Like I, I always wanted to experience it. But <laughs> yeah, so I was so excited. I ended up calling the nurses in, and my husband was back in by then because when I had got my epidural, he ended. They told him he had to step out, but he ended up going to get something to eat, which I wanted some Subway after I had. <laughs> After I had given birth, so yeah, so he went to get us something to eat. And then by the time he came back, my water had broke, and he was already in there when my water broke. So um, yeah, so my water ended up breaking. I ended up to the nurse. They actually, she actually didn't believe me when I told her um, because she didn't see the actual water coming out. But then I think as she was checking me, I was having a contraction, and then they started seeing the water come out. And he didn't poop inside me, so that was a good thing. So, um, yeah, they started seeing the water come out as I was having a contraction that was checking me. So they ended up, you know, calling my midwife and letting her know. And at this time, <laughs> that's when everything just kind of flipped, but it was a good flip. <laughs> so I ended up starting texting my dad, texting my mother-in-law, just texting everybody, texting my sister, letting them know that, um, my water broke, that it was about to things about to start happening but y'all when i tell you like a few minutes after i text them i started feeling the worst pain <laughs> oh my goodness like my pain just started it went it went up to a 10 like it was probably like at a three or two it went up to a 10 and i started feeling those contractions and that's how i knew he was I was ready to start pushing, so my, they end up calling my midwife in. She took a um, she took a few minutes to come in, but it was all good. But when she came in, she seen me like having a contraction. She was like, "Okay." She ended up checking me, and she was like, "Yeah, you ready to go?" And um, while I was having contractions, like 
everything was happening so fast. Like I didn't even, I didn't even understand that I was ready to push. Like I don't know where my mind was, but when she came in, I, it was on that pain. That's where it was. That where my mind was. <laughs> But when she came in and checked me, she was like, okay, you ready to go? They were setting everything up. I wasn't even paying attention because, like, I was, like, gripping on to the rail because this the pain started to come. But she was like, I like how you breathing down the baby. I didn't even know I was doing it. I was just trying to get through the, that contraction. <laughs> it's so crazy. But, yeah, so at first she had me on my – well, I was on my side. I don't know – yeah, I was on my side because I was holding on to the rail during the contraction. So she was like, you can push that way if you want to. Um, she was, oh my goodness, y'all. My midwife, Amanda. Y'all, when I say I was like hoping and praying that she would be the one who um, delivered my baby. Because at this particular um, place that I went, they had like different midwives that um, see you throughout the week. And um, depending on what day you deliver on, like you're going to labor on, um, you might have a different midwife that deliver you. And Amanda was just so sweet. She was so relatable. She was so amazing that I really wanted her to deliver my baby. Um, so I was so happy when I found out that she would be the one to deliver my baby. So she, I was on a part where I was saying that she... Um, had me laying on my side where I was on my side. She was like, if you want to deliver there? Like, she was just trying to make it everything, whatever I wanted, she was trying to make happen. Like, she was definitely all about the patient, and I loved it so much. Like, she was um, saying, um, if I wanted, I started pushing on my side, and um, I think I only pushed, I'm going to say a good 30, probably not even, they were probably like 20 something minutes. That I pushed like I was not pushing long at all, and he was born around seven something. So I got my epidural around six something. My water broke, and no, I got my epidural around three something. My water broke at six something. He was born around seven something. I don't know. I forgot what time exactly he was born, but I I have it ran down or I have it saved, or I can go back and look at it. But yeah, my baby was born, y'all. And this was the most amazing part. This is the part that I said, like, I had hearts desired for it. But I never voiced it. Um, I never voiced it to the Lord. But I wanted how I was scared of this. But I always wanted to know how it felt for the baby to come out. This is something I was terrified of. But, like, when I experienced it with this epidural, that's why I felt like it was so amazing. I was able to still feel him coming out. So as I was pushing, I felt him coming. I felt me stretching and everything, but nothing hurt. It didn't hurt, but you felt all the pressure. And I kept telling my nurses, I kept telling my me and wife, I'm like, y'all, I'm about to poop. I'm about to poop on this on this um, bed. I'm about to poop everywhere. This felt like I had to poop so bad. Oh my goodness, that feeling. Like, I used to watch tons of labor and delivery um, vlogs, and people kept saying, like, they're feeling of having to poop. This how you know the baby is about to come out. Like, that's unreal. And I never experienced that, but with him, I experienced that. I was like, man, why I keep giving birth to all these big head babies? <laughs> like, all my babies' heads are so big, but <laughs> I felt their head coming out, and I felt... um I didn't, I felt the ring of fire, but I didn't, like, it, it didn't hurt to me. So, I'm pretty sure the epidural took away that pain as well. And, um, yeah, I pushed them on out. And I'm so glad I got to experience that. That's why I say, like, I feel like this was one of the best labor and deliveries that I had. And, yeah, my precious baby came out. He came out weighing eight pounds and um, one ounce. And I kept telling everybody why I was pregnant. Because I, this was the longest I've been pregnant. I was pregnant. I gave birth at 40 weeks. My other two babies, I gave birth at 38 weeks. And I kept telling everybody, of course, he was going to be bigger because he was in there longer. But I just felt like he was so heavy. Like, I just kept telling them, y'all, this baby going to be big. But I thought he was going to be bigger than that. But he was 8 pounds and 1 ounces. Um, he was 20-something inches. I think he was like 20 inches. Um, yeah, but my precious baby... Oh my goodness, his name is Jabari. Um...
Yeah, y'all, this is my quick labor delivery story, y'all. Everything went by so fast. Like, I got in at 11, I hear him at 7. And um, I remember when I gave birth to Josiah, like, I kept telling, well, they told me that um, if you have another baby, you might want to make sure you make it to the hospital as soon as possible because your, labor, your um, delivery is going to be really fast. And that was right. I felt like I had him pretty fast. Well, I did have him pretty fast. Like, I didn't need 11. I had him at 7. So, I felt like it was pretty fast compared to women that be going into labor. Like, they be there all day, 12 to 24 hours. Like, I'm, I just think that's amazing that a woman can go through all that. Like, our bodies can go through all that. I just think that's amazing. But, yeah. <laughs> to wrap all this up, you guys, I thank you guys for making it to the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up because I need to get in the bed. But, um, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>